All right, what's poppin'? Happy New Year's, everyone. And today's video, I'm basically gonna showcase you guys how to basically transfer saves from either the Yuzu emulator to your Switch or from your Switch to the Yuzu emulator. Now, before we get started, there's a couple things you guys are gonna need for this process to work. Obviously, the most important thing you're going to need is a custom firmware switch and also something that can back up your save on your custom firmware switch, which is can be JSKV or Checkpoint. Either one of those two are okay, because as long as they can back up your save for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro, you're all set and also you're gonna need access to one of the emulators via, can be either Yuzu or Ryujinx. It really doesn't matter which one it is because both of them are going to have saves that you can transfer. Now, first things first, we're gonna go to the custom firmware switch. And soon as you plug in your um, USB um, driver reader, you're gonna, if you haven't, or if you haven't um, backed up your saves before, it's gonna basically come in a folder. For me, I use JKSV, so it's gonna come as a custom folder. If you're um, using Checkpoint, it's also gonna come in a custom folder. I cannot showcase the game, um, well, it's not really gameplay. I cannot showcase me um, basically backing up saves on my Switch because for some reason Nintendo thinks that when I be showing anything related to Switch and any type of form of their UI or gameplay, they love to claim the video, so I cannot showcase me backing up um, Checkpoint or JKSV. So yeah, it's pretty simple and easy, but yeah. So when you get to your save backups, as you can see, these are all my save backups. I have one custom for PK hacks, Pokemon cheats, and just random saves. I was just testing out, as you can see right here. Um, as long as you know where the save data is located, like most of these things are just gonna have save data and the backup, just in case if something bad happens to your save file, basically gonna go to the backup, basically go on from there. And basically how you transfer saves, is pretty simple. I'm gonna go back to the user emulator and then basically gonna need where, you're gonna need to know where the save is located. So right here is going to be open save data location. As you can see this is my previous save from before. And if you wanna just transfer saves, here we go to my Pokemon cheats. I'm basically going to drag and drop it onto here. And that's basically the same process with me transferring, if I'm trying to transfer from either the Yuzu emulator to my custom firmware switch, I'm basically gonna drag and drop it right there. And then it basically is gonna to apply to it. I'm not gonna do it because I'm not trying to really um, transfer saves. I'm just basically showcasing guys and basically showcasing guys how it works essentially so yeah that's pretty much it and also when you um replace saves from Yuzu to your custom firmware switch you're going to need to basically load up the custom save due to the fact that if you already transfer the save and you go straight into the game it's basically gonna it's basically not gonna read the new save file you basically have to go back to either checkpoint or jskv and basically load the new save you just transferred from your from either the Yuzu emulator or the Ryu Jinx emulator. That is pretty much it. That's how you basically transfer saves from either the Yuzu emulator to your custom firmware switch or from your custom firmware switch to your emulators. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, it's a boy great time. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.